Hello, in this video, we will see how to create sample data using a distribution which I already know. This is required, let's say when you want to create transactional data where we know the market share of various products. So here I have the market share of these products. This is a table. I have given a name to this table. It's a table two. This distribution must be mentioned in decimals and the grand total of all these must be one. Because this is a table, we can actually add a total row so that we can look at the total while we are doing the data entry. I have specified numbers one to six here. We are going to use this data along with the data analysis tools in Excel. By default, they are not enabled. So you go to file, options, add-ins, and within Excel add-ins, we have to enable analysis tool pack. It's a good idea to enable solver as well. Once you do that, you will see data analysis under the data tab. And now we can use the random number generator from here. What we want is the discrete random number generator. We want to create one set of numbers, so we call it number of variables as one. Let's say we create thousand numbers randomly. And this is most important. Here we have to specify the value and probability. This is the value and this is the probability. This dialog does not understand tables. So I have manually selected the range without using the headings and the totals. The first column must be the numbers to be generated and the second column must be a list of distribution in decimals. Having done that, let's select the output and I'm going to ask it to output it at let's say B3 and that's it. So depending on the amount of data to be generated, it may take a little while. Now, when the numbers are generated, there is no formula here. This is directly generated numbers. So I'm just going to call it number and I'm going to put one more column here to decode the model or the product or whatever descriptive thing you want. Let's create a table out of this. And here we can use a simple VLOOKUP based on the number which is generated and refer to this particular table. And we want the third column because that's where the product or model number is. And of course, this is not a range lookup. We want exact match. Now we can use this column and utilize it as sample data for simulations or demonstrations and so on. I've created a pivot table to see the distribution actually after generation. So I'm going to put number in rows and let's put products in values. And I'm going to say show value as percent of total. If you compare these numbers with what we had originally specified as the distribution, you'll notice that it's fairly accurate. If you create larger number of items, the accuracy will be higher. This is how you generate sample data quickly. If you like this video, please share it with your colleagues and follow my blog efficiency365.com where you'll learn one new efficiency technique every day. Thank you.